Mr. Derek B. back with another tutorial about Serato Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to warp a song in Serato Studio. So let's get into it. Audio 1, let's drag our file in. All right, we're going to be working on You Are the Woman. So when it brings the song in, Serato are automatically puts a cue point where it thinks it should start. I always put it on the first downbeat. Right here. This is da 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 boom Right here. Zoom in. Grid, start grid here, save, replace cue. And if you were going to count bars, that's basically the place you'd start on the downbeat. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. You get it? Got it good. All right, now let's bring another track in. So audio two, we're going to bring the exact same song in. I bring it in twice, three times, because Serato will recognize the new cue point, and it'll start the song there. So this is audio one. Let's just go ahead and get rid of it for now. Audio two, we're going to start our warping. So up at the top is where you're going to do all of the warping. So let's make sure it's started in the right beat. Okay, so let's hit grid. And it already has some points. It starts to tell you where it thinks it's supposed to be. So this is the second bar. We want to slide this over. Hit set. Then we want to just keep going. It's going to have a number on every bar. So one, two, three, four. So I usually just go to one, two, three, four, five, you know, and so on. So let's see what three looks like. And let's go to four. It's close. Set. Five set, and basically this is this is warping right here. If we're talking about Serato Studio, set. This song is not off too much. Set. So let's see what it sounds like for the first seven, eight bars. So as you can see, it's starting to drift already. So I just zoom up in here and pretty much go to every single bar and move it a little to the left or a little to the right. That's pretty much the whole process of warping in Serato Studio. All right, so it looks like we're up to about the 22nd bar. And um, all of these red lines, they're, they're white over here, and on this left side, they're red. The red indicates that there's an anchor. That's something you had posted. Um, let's talk about, real quick, a few of these things here. The set basically puts the marker, puts the anchor. And if you make a mistake and you put the wrong anchor, you can always come up here and hit clear and it will clear whatever anchor is closest to the center if you hit clear all obviously it's going to get rid of everything 
Uh, these two here are sliders, but I just hit set. Or you can manually grab and slide left or right. And then, of course, don't forget to hit save. I also mentioned, I forgot to mention, that is, up here is the metronome. And I use this to keep me on beat. Let's listen. You are, you are the woman so if that I pick I've it all, always dreamed just of, I knew it from the start. Put it back on and help me keep I time. saw your face and that's the last I've seen of my heart. So yeah, it helps me keep time. I usually keep it on always. You guys don't have to. So that's pretty much the whole process. You just do the whole song and um, it's warped or as close as you can get it. It doesn't have to be perfect in some cases. If you are making a redrum, you want it perfect. But uh, if you're just making a regular edit, you can just be close. I think that is fine. So that's the lesson for you guys. We'll have more. As soon as I learn more, I'll come back and show you more. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe.